So we just hot wired uh, this big foam block and cut a piece off of there and then trimmed it as well uh, using the hot wire and we've had the tables sort of in place, they're not lined up yet, we just rest it sitting in there and then over here this is that first plug base now it has the foam on it and it's glued and we just put the chop saw on there to add some weight while it dries so obviously we're just doing this first one as a you know just get comfortable with the whole process thing and then we'll be doing it in more of a production line fashion so you know making a whole bunch of uh, steel bases at once putting the plywood plywood on all those and then uh, cutting the foam and gluing them all on at once so we're more efficient and not sort of you know starting again that sort of stuff so that's that and uh, hopefully we'll be running the mill over this this afternoon well it's early morning just got in uh, last night Jeff and I were here a little bit late um, finishing off some of the stuff on the model he got the uh, the elevators here pretty much done and hinged so he'll be putting the uh, servos in those uh, this morning and then the winglets were attached and they're just they've been bonded into place they need to be uh, finished out here and smoothed smoothed out um, so we're getting really close now to having this ready to fly um, what's left is the servo for the nose wheel steering um, the like I said the servos for the elevators and cutting the inlet there and, and attaching the inlet for the cooling for the electric motor and attaching the prop and spinner and we may not actually have the spinner on for the first flight and then I think that's pretty much it. Everything else is pretty much done. So we'll be taxiing it around the uh, shop today and maybe at the back or something like that. Um, and then possibly having the first flight tomorrow. Look, the weather looks like it's going to cooperate for us. So we'll see if that works out. And I'll have an update for you as soon as I have something new. I just fired up the mill for the first uh, piece here. This is doing a rough in right now. And uh, then it'll be on and running the program for doing the finished surface on the phone. So this piece is going to be uh, the left and right upper door, outer skin just above the windows. So this will take about uh, 15 minutes to run this program and then the other ones take about 10 minutes each. So I'll have a little bit more video in a minute. Okay, this is a bit of a crude way of showing you it. Basically, here's that part that we've milled it. So it's just curved over and has big flanges around the side and it has the two different pieces in it, which are the top um, outer skins of the doors. So when we go to, to create the mold from this, the mold will be basically laid over the top of this and then we'll be able to lay um, carbon fiber in that mold and then finally we'll cut those pieces out to that shape and they'll have the right curvature and stuff that we need. So today I've been working on doing some sanding for Jeff here. I'm just sanding this transition because he, he um, molded all this in uh, overnight uh, with lots of, what do you call it, epoxy? Uh, yes. Epoxy. And here it was all rough and stuff, so I did that one and just enough Jeff has to finish it off. It's reasonable but needs some more work still. And the other one over here I'm still working on that. And you can sort of see in there it's still rough. So and Jeff is working on the he's got the the canard in here, he's put some screws, one on each one to hold that on. As you can see. The hinges are all finished on here, and he's just getting ready to put that little 
so a motor embedded in there somewhere um, so that's that and everything else is really coming together here we're getting pretty pretty close he's got the underneath here on the fuselage and if you can see it this is the top of the fuselage he has created an inlet here now and so in the back here with the motor you can see there's holes and stuff for some cooling air to come for the electric motor in there because that requires uh, some cooling what is that you ask well today we had our first real setback um, this is the spindle from the drive motor or the drilling motor out of the uh, out of the CNC and we actually um, fried one of the bearings in the front here this guy is fried so we've ordered some new ones and then we have to take those ones off there and we're actually going to replace this one as well with some sealed bearings because these are not sealed and press those back on so our mill is out of action until Wednesday when those ones arrive and so over here you can see there is the inside of the motor so unfortunately we're out of action on this guy but we did make some good progress and with with the cam software and we got everything sorted out and dialed in now so we kind of know what we're doing as soon as that's back in action we will be back uh, milling the next set of parts and probably uh, start doing the base of the fuselage which is you know quite a big piece but uh, anyway so that's that